We talk now about Northern Platinum. They reported a full year jump in revenue despite the tough conditions. Paul Dunn is the chief executive of Northern Platinum and he joins us now. Good evening to you, Paul. Evening, Just uh, let's have a look there. Big picture numbers, uh, 5.3 billion rand revenue down from 6 billion. Uh, operating profit was up by 10 times from 61 million to 600 million. So uh, uh, a drop in revenue but profit up. What's behind those numbers? I think the essence of the, uh, of the improvements is the growth of Boysendale which is the new, um, the, the new mine uh, on the eastern limb. We have two main assets, the Zonda and the mine. It's older, deeper on the western limb, and the new mine at Boysendal. 100 million ounces in the ground. We've just put our toe in the water, so to speak, with Boysendal North, which will exploit 5% of that ore body over the next 20 years. There's still a lot of opportunity. Mm. We've seen growth this year. It's come through on the earnings, uh, op operating earnings, and uh, we, 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 we're pleased. Mm. And if we take a quick look at uh, the last conversation we had on business tonight, we were talking about uh, that BE deal that was mm. highly regarded in the market at 6.6 .6 billion rand, which was also partly funded. How did uh, that particular transaction play itself out in this set of numbers? Yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few once-offs that we have to book uh, this year associated with the BE transaction, the IFRS 2, which is an accounting standard. Mm. Um, many of these items are non-cash and once-off. So we've bugged them through, uh, we've broken them down on the face of the income statement. You can see what each one is. And uh, what we would like to stress is, of course, the underlying business yeah. is reflected in the operating profit, and that represents, under normal circumstances, if we to strip everything out, around about 150 per share. Uh, it's a question. I mean, of course, we had the strike action last year. Mm. And to what extent was the improvement due to the fact that, you know, I think you had a, your, your strike action ended a little earlier than other people's. Yes. So how much yeah. of that improvement was due to that? Yeah, I think we've had problems in both years, actually. Mm. Viv, if, you, if you look at it, in the year gone, we've had uh, a strike. Uh, this year, we had a shaft interruption, a uh, number one shaft, which uh, took the shaft out for six weeks. It was a safety incident. Nobody hurt, fortunately. Uh, but efficiently and safely repaired, but it did take the shaft out for six weeks and inhibited production in this year. So both years had, had some difficulty. I think management has dealt well with those difficulties and uh, they're performing steadily. We've talked earlier about uh, some good mining companies that are in a mm. hard place at the moment because of global conditions, prices, maybe sometimes mm. currencies. Uh, on the other hand, there are things that are under our control in South Africa. Mm. One. Uh, is power, mm -hmm. uh, although it's not in our control as much as we'd like it to be. Yeah. Costs for that, and of course labour. Now you've got a, you say your prospects are governed uh, favourably by a three years uh, deal which gives stability, but yeah. quite a high wage settlement. Yeah, David, we think in fact that the, that three year wage deal is extremely important for Northern, and stability is extremely important for the mining industry. We've seen over the last couple of years what happens when it goes wrong. Stability is the foundation of productivity. And of course, productivity will deliver earnings ultimately, and all stakeholders benefit. Uh, this year, uh, I think uh, leadership out on the mine, both from the NUM and from the mine management, have been very professional, mature, and I think they should be congratulated for the way it was agreed upon. Mm. Th that's quite encouraging. Uh, and perhaps let's just go back to the price of platinum and jumping around in the last couple of days and we're seeing mm. some strength coming through. But overall, since January, close to about 20% weaker. Let's talk about your future game plan. Uh, do you see the, the price uh, picking up? Are there indicators in the market that this is going to strengthen? And, uh, and what does this mean for the business going forward? Well, there was an interesting bounce overnight, of course, in, mm. in these mm. metals. Uh, our belief is, is very firm. The, the, these metals are used for their fundamental elemental properties. Uh, very difficult to substitute. You substitute with this in the same group of metals. The demand for these metals is growing not much less than world GDP. Mm. Supply, on the other hand, is getting very difficult, in particular primary mine supply in South Africa. The, the pricing environment and balance sheets that are terribly stressed uh, is leading to a reduction in primary supply. And that combination to us is fundamental and the pricing will reassert itself. We just don't know exactly when. Oh. And in the meantime, we'll be quite conservative in the way that we do our business. Mm. There's a question. I mean, you've got so probably closer to the you know, mine towards the coalface than most people. Yeah. At what level do you think the majority of the production in the world right now in platinum group metals is break even? Is it here or how far away from here are we from that point? Well, I think as, as yesterday, I would suggest that um, in terms of primary supply, in South Africa, which represents the vast majority of, of primary production from mines, uh, break even probably 50% of the, of the industry was underwater. 
and that's quite a serious situation. Of course, the markets are very clever and they should correct themselves over time. Unfortunately, it may come with a little bit more pain. Is this the turn? I mean, we've talked for the last year or so about the supply and demand issues uh, with uh, the cars, the catalytic converters, Europe, China, mm. and all that kind of thing. And then the supply dropping because uh, there's no demand. Yeah. Is this the, are we seeing the turn now? Da David, you know, so primary production in SA peaked at two th in 2006 at 5 million ounces. We'll, the number this year will probably begin with a three. Mm. A large amount of primary production has come out of the market. It will correct. I can't say it's now, yeah. but if we look at the price action in some of the bigger stocks uh, today, it seems to me there's quite a lot of short covering. Mm. So, mm. of course, we also if we take a look at uh, your the, the dividend play, we know that the dividend has been withheld for a second year. Shareholders are obviously quite keen to know whether you're going to return to uh, paying out dividends. What's the outlook on that front? We would look for a better signal in the dollar price of the metals before resuming dividends. Of course, there is cash on the balance sheet, but that cash has been uh, raised to support growth and potentially acquisition. And uh, it's not uh, just to give back in dividends. We need to, we need to deliver earnings mm. before we can pay that dividend. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And it was just it was one last thing. Uh, with regards to the, it was the country, of course, we don't have the number one demand for platinum coming from South Africa as mm. other parts of the world. But what can the government in the country do to actually increase demand for the commodity? Mm, but we, we, we think the, the metal is very strategic for the world and very strategic for South Africa. And uh, the industry is talking to government. We certainly would like to see it as a get reserve status, for instance, which would mm. support price. We didn't quite talk about the power. You did talk about the labor, but not the power issues, yeah. uh, the electricity. So A, reliability, B, cost. Yes, I think both are, uh, are, are problematic. Um, reliability is slight improvement in, re in recent times. Uh, of course, we cannot put under people underground if we have a, an opinion that the, 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 the grid is going to fall over. We don't have that opinion. Oh. We think load shedding has been managed. The big users are contributing quite well to that management. Uh, in Northern's case, we have two, uh, you know, some relief on the east mm. because it's much less reliant on power. Oh. The primary energy at Boysendale is mechanized mining. It's diesel. So there's some relief from the power circumstance. Final one, Paul, just to take you back to reserve status. Mm. Um, can you give us an indication on you know, how progressive have those talks been uh, with the government? Is there indication that this might be seen as a strategic mineral and then uh, perhaps receive some protectionist measures that would allow some buffers for the industry? Yeah, I think it's fair to say that government are listening and they are concerned about what's happening in mining as a whole and particularly in PGMs. So we have a sympathetic ear. Of course, platinum is an industrial metal, so yeah. that hurdle needs to be crossed. Well, thanks to Paul Dunn, Chief Executive of Northern, covering a lot of ground there.